Hey everybody, it's your boy Celery Stick. Oh my gosh, check it out. We are back. Day four, don't starve. Wilson, we haven't died yet. We got our base camp set up. It's in decent shape. We don't have much grass left because we uh, kind of used it all up on our uh, on all of our, our traps. It's not a big deal. We're going to go collect some more right now. And holy crap, there's a lot of bunny holes here. Holy. All right, let's collect that. I believe we have enough for a campfire now, yep. So when we run out, all right, how do we build our science machine? We need gold, don't we? All right, we're gonna have to go, f that's Niter. We're gonna have to find us like a, a gold vein style rock somewhere. Let's go for it. I'm also gonna collect up as much manure as I can because I thought that'd be good for some advanced trap, or sorry, advanced farm plots. Guys, make sure to let me know what you want me to do. Like uh, if you want me to go after maybe making more, more farm plots or maybe more bunny, bunny traps or whatever it might be just let me know what's on your mind and how you how you think the best way to do it is because i am not the best at this game and i really do appreciate all of your feedback thank you so much let's keep going okay you gotta watch out for all these beefaloes they are trouble okay we'll head up we'll grab some more of their poop because for whatever reason we're weird like that and we like poop i wonder how he carries that poop around he must pick it up with his bare hands like we have no shut oh that means, oh, and he's eating with those same hands. There's no soap out there. Oh, that's terrible. Well said. Okay, we've encountered our first enemy, which we're going to completely avoid because we don't have a spear. I don't think we can actually make a spear, can we? No, we need a, a science machine first. All right, we'll get on this cobblestone road. I heard that cobblestone roads typically, oh, a mandrake. We'll just pick him up. So what if he dies? What's the big deal? All right, sweet. Mandrake. Is there any more? Usually, they're supposed to be around each other when you find them. We'll pick up some more saplings. Mandrake. Oh, Mandrake. Nope. But I did find a lot of mushrooms. Sweet. I found some nice pigmen. That's my space. Cool, bro. I'll leave you alone. I wonder if I can drag him over here. Start a little Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get them fighting each other. Maybe if I, uh... Nope. Sweet. Okay, equip the axe. Let's get us some silk right away. This will be pretty sweet. A little cheap move by me, but it's okay. We got some silk. Sweet. Can I do it? I think so. I don't think there's any left in here. Nice. I'm not sure what we need silk for early on in the game, but... I'm not going to really complain. We can deal with some extra silk right now before the giant, like, tier 3 traps. Sweet. Thank you very much, pig meat. <laughs> pig meat. Pig men. I'm going to pick all... I'll pick all this up and befriend them. Let's befriend us a pig man. Um, maybe not. They're kind of busy still. Uh, we can come back. L let's let them deal with that. The, uh... The, the imminent threat. Oh, we can get some meat if we're careful. Oh no, the spiders already ate all the meat. Alright. We'll leave him alone. We'll come back for that stuff later. That was pretty uh, pretty intense. I like that. We got some free silk. Alright, midday four. We're doing pretty good. Ooh, we found ourselves a graveyard. What's over here? Okay, some more berries. We'll pick them up. And we'll head up here. There's another mandrake. Oh, poor guy. There we go. Two mandrakes. Now, the last time I played this, I died and I had three mandrakes in my inventory. And I think if you eat them, you come back pretty much fully, full on, full on hunger. There's no point in like hanging on to them if you can't use them. It's like the elixirs of Final Fantasy VII. You actually do have to use them if you want to make good on them. Okay. I still haven't found any gold veins in these ores. But where are they? No stone, no gold. We're not even in the right biome right now, so we're going to keep hiking it up. Aha! What's this? This looks like the right kind. Let's equip our axe, or our pickaxe, and let's chop it down. I guess you don't chop that, but... Gold? 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 Come on, gold. Hey, a gold nugget! Perfect. Let's see if there's any more this way. I'd love to get some more. Okay, we found the pig king. Pretty cool. 
and another pig village. So we got a lot of trees here that I don't really need to chop down too much. Uh, it's not a full moon. This would be a decent spot to set up shop, and I can just chop down all these trees for the night. Let's do that. In a little bit, actually. Let's equip our axe. Start chopping. Alright, guys. I'm going to stand here chopping, and I'll see you in the morning when I get back. So, that didn't exactly work out the way I had planned. The the campfire may have... Oh, boy. May have spread. Um, I guess that's not the end of the world, seeing how I'm going to need charcoal eventually anyway. Oh, get out. What are you doing? Okay. Alright, okay. Well, we need charcoal anyways to make our, uh, our, what do you call it, our crock pot. So, this isn't something I wanted to do. Inten it wasn't intentional, because now I'm pretty sure we're going to have, like, a giant Optimus Pine coming after us. But we're in decent shape. That's okay. And we can always use more charcoal. You know what? In hindsight, that's actually a perfect forest to burn down. Look at that. We got, is that nine charcoal? That's pretty good. Oh, more than nine. Okay, there we go. Pretty close to the edge there. We'll go by the light here and we'll hang out. You're so hungry. Oh, time to cook some food up. Yep, sorry, buddy. Oops. All right, there we go. Pretty much full up on health. We should be able to hang out here till the end of the day. Sanity's dropping because it's daytime or nighttime. Nighttime, daytime. Okay. Since we have nothing to give to the pig king, it would be a good idea to start trekking it back home. We know where he is, nice and far away. For whatever reason, every time I see a pig village, or a pig king, I should say, or next to a big village, there always seems to be spider dens nearby. I'm not sure why. Alright, we're going to take back a slightly modified route home, just to do some more exploring and some resource collecting. This might be a bit of a trip, guys, so what I'll just do is I'll get there and I'll fast forward it so you guys don't have to sit back. Alright. Ooh, a spear! Oh, nice. We found a spear, a 100% spear, actually, which is really helpful. That's going to really help us out later if we get into a little bit of a bind. And like I said, I'm going to try to avoid all the fighting that I can for now, but that's okay. We're doing really nice. All right. That's kind of what I like about Don't Starve. It always surprises you. Like, never is one gameplay the same as another one. That's not what I asked to do. Come on. And we broke our axe. I should just make one right now before I forget. I'm glad we picked up all that flint, too. Some more berries up there. Should get that. What is this? What is this? What is this? I've never seen one of these before. These look like angry pigmen. These look like tiki torches. I thought that was a mod that Afro 1967 made. Um, can I feed these guys? Yeah, let's just... Give him this. No, 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 no. He's a friend. Go away. Give? Ah, okay. These guys kind of always keep this torch lit, do they? Let's feed this dude, too. Look at that. I befriended some of them. And I guess their job... Oh, okay. We'll just, uh, we'll keep our distance. I don't have enough food for all of them, but that's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Wow, okay. And like I said before, this this friggin' beefalo herd is huge. I've never seen a herd this big. It's gigantic. Okay, let's collect up all this poop. And we should probably just kill a beefalo later if we get really hungry. There's so many, it's not a big deal. But since we have so much poop... Oh, there's home base. I see one of our traps. Since we have so much poop, guys, I think it's a pretty decent idea if we uh, focused on farming. Lots of farms. We can set up a lot of different style farms and just keep collecting all the nice vegetables and all the, all the plant-based meals we can get. So before we get started, I want to plant all these pine cones because uh, the keeper of the forest will come after us eventually. Oh, no. Our sanity's taking a bit of a hit. I'm not sure why. It's not the end of the world. Let me just plug these down real quick. Awesome. There we go. Another one here. Another one here. Another one here. I like that. A nice triangular little thing there. Okay, so where were we? Right. Alchemy and or science machine. Science. Science machine. 
Um, how about right here? That's a good enough spot right there. All right, we are moving up in the ranks. All right, first things first, science machine. I guess after that, we could have built ourselves what? We should refine ourselves some... Ooh, a log suit. Yeah, oh, grass suit. No, log suit. We need rope. How do we make rope? I don't remember. Good, next to the science machine. There we go. We can refine rope from grass. We prototyped it. One, two, and then we go back to... Is it fight? Yes. Log suit. Perfect. We got some defense, and we also got ourselves a spear. We're not going to die now. We're in decent shape. Okay. Where do we have it? We have lots of traps. A bird trap. You know what? We we have the silk. Is there anything else we should use the silk for? Maybe there is. Oh, a backpack. Yes, we will make ourselves a backpack. Sweet. We got a backpack. Nice. What else we got? No, no piggyback needed. Although there are pig skins, but this thing slows you down a lot, and I don't like that. Okay, what else we got here? Light sources. The brass lantern is down here, but it needs lots of gold. And until I, like, raid some, uh, some graves, I can't really do that. However, under food, we should be able to build us a crock pot, shouldn't we? Three cut stone. Okay, cut stone. Cut stone. Right. Oh, I gotta go up here. There we go. Prototype from cut stone. We're a little short, though. We're gonna need more stone. I think I saw some stone over here. There we go. We still got lots of daytime. It'll be alright. So it's three stone per cut stone. So now we need one more piece of stone, of course. And I don't know where there's one more. Alright. We're gonna have to go to base camp. We'll find that tomorrow. Okay. No, I definitely don't know where any more stone is. Okay. Let's, uh, let's look at the map. Maybe I can see it on the map. There were some stones down here. We won't make it there tonight. But we'll head out there in the morning. We'll pick that up. All right, guys. I'm going to camp out here for the night. And I'll see you in the morning. All right. And we are back nice and early. All right. Let's head out. I chopped down a tree last night. I had to cook up the last of our berries and eat some of our carrots. But we got our hunger back up and in good shape. The days are getting a little longer. I guess we're heading into the peak of summer now. All right, now down here we saw some... There it is. Equip our pickaxe. Let's chop this bad boy down. Well, I guess we're mining it down. I guess after this we can build ourselves a nice uh, a shovel, I suppose. So we can go and collect up all these grass tufts and all that goodness. All the twigs, bring them up north to the base. And it would be good if we can build ourselves a lightning rod. Because soon enough we're going to get into trouble with that too. All right. I believe we have enough stone now. Where's our stone pile? Yeah, 11... We only need to make enough cut stone to make a crock pot. So let's head right back up. Come on, Wilson, make with the program here. And I have to admit, Wilson's beard is getting pretty magnificent. Take a look at that thing. It's getting there already. Refined cut stone two and three. So under food, where did food go? Crock pot, crock pot, crock pot, crock pot. There it is. Did I not click on it? Oh, there we go. Crock pot. We'll put it nice and close to the fireplace. Fire pit, not the fireplace. There we have it. Hooray, a crock pot. Sweet. Now, I also saw a drawing rack on there. Can we build a drawing rack? Three rope. To make three ropes, we need to refine. I can make one. Okay, we need like six more. Uh... Okay, you know what? Until then, let's make ourselves some food. Let's Let's pick up some of this meat here. Yep, we'll put that back down. And we'll pick up this guy. And we'll put that back down. Sweet. We'll murder these guys. We'll get meatballs set up. A little more efficient. One, two. And we'll put in this mushroom cap that we can't eat alone. And we'll put in a carrot. And we'll cook that away. We'll go and get ourselves a bunch of straw real quick. We'll stay away from him. I don't like how close we are. Oh man, I don't think I've ever had such an efficient first six days. Holy crap. I'm really feeling good about this, guys. Let me know how you guys want me to proceed. Like, I know I haven't transferred all these, like, plants back over to our base camp yet, but just, like, everything you want me to see. Like, if you want to see, like, our first priority, maybe to get a, a cabin built right away. Although a cabin's a bad example, I don't think we'll be able to. But maybe you'll have certain ideas. Like, tell me what that awesome pig village is that we found with all the lanterns. Like, I have no clue what that is. 
All right, let's head back over. We should have enough grass. Awesome. Come on, Wilson. Pick up the pace. I love his hair, though. Absolutely love it. Oh, sweet. Meatballs cooking away. They are ready. We definitely need to chop down some trees, though. We'll do that in a second. So let's go refine rope. And some more rope. There we have it. Now we should be able to build us a drying rack. Wait, I gotta go up here. Drying rack, sweet. And let's put you like right over there. Decent spot. So now when I go and uh, grab this dude, put him there, we'll murder him. And we'll go and dry it. So now we have some preserved meat that'll last a little longer. Let's head back south. Oh wait, I need a ax. There's a lot of trees down here. We're not quite ready to raid our entire forest yet. I'd rather them be all, like, fully grown. Here we are. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how tall some of these stranding trees are. That's pretty cool. This is where I wish I had Lucy the axe. That would be pretty sweet. I thought I saw... Okay, I already activated that touchstone. Okay. All right, let's chop away here. That was a big tree. Holy... Now, I hope we don't have an Optimus Pine coming after us. I don't want Igor to come back to life. Alright. Let's go over here. Okay, we got lots of daylight. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop away here for a little bit. Head back up to base camp and see you guys in the morning. And we made it back, guys. Let's go and refine us some boards right away. Got lots of wood. Sweet. We'll throw that in the fire right now. That's all right. And what we will do is cook up our stale carrots. And they should come back as roasted carrots in good shape. And I will eat them promptly. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I should cook those. Because I think they're going to turn pretty soon. Well, I can eat one more anyway. So we'll, we'll cook them anyways, I guess. Wait, but can I put roasted carrots into the, uh, the crock pot? I don't remember. Let's test it out. If I harvest our crock pot and I put this in there, can I? Oh, okay. So that's what I'll do. We'll cook all these. All right. And well, why am I cooking them if I'm just going to put them in there? Well, that's no big deal. There we go. We got a bunch of cooked carrots. We're in good shape. What I thought we could do is finally build ourselves that shovel that I've been like procrastinating about. So it's under tools. That's a luxury act. Uh, shovel! Sweet! We're no longer in the dark ages. We can actually use our shovel. That's really helping with our sanity. And what we should do is get ourselves a chest going. But we should refine some more of these boards. I think it's three boards per chest. There we have it. A nice sturdy chest. And we'll uh, we just put it right here, I guess. Oh, look at that. It's daytime already. And we will fill this. I guess we can put the manure in there for now. And... Uh, what do we need the rocks for? Our mandrake, the niter. We'll hang on the flint. We'll hang on the grass and the twigs. You, I guess we don't really need grass right now, but charcoal, we'll get rid of that for now too. That'll help clean up our inventory and the ashes, of course. And the, okay, there we go. We got so much space, I love it. Okay, let's equip our shovel. And I think the first order of business is to clear out the actual base. So let's do that. We'll collect all this stuff up. Oh, I should click that and I'll put it in the chest in a minute. There we go. Alright guys, I'm going to fast forward this because this might get a little dry. Alright guys, so I picked up 20 grass turfs now. If we need more than that, I don't know man, like that's a lot of grass. So I thought that would be sufficient for now. We can just store half of it, carry half of it, and here are the grass tufts. And where was it? Right around here I thought we could set up a nice little farm. So I'm going to do that right now. There we are. Oh, what happened there? Plant. There we go. Okay, so we kind of got a little... We're not quite straight anymore. We got a little angle, but that's okay. We'll plant one right here. There we go. 
We got ourselves a little strip farm. <laughs> Oops. Okay. One more. There we go. 20 grass tufts. We're going to fertilize. Order. Oh, I dropped off a fertilizer, didn't we? Okay. We'll go pick that up. Fertilizer. Okay. So we need one more fertilizer to be able to fertilize that. And I'm certain our beefalo friends will have that. Let's zoom right in. It's a little tricky here. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. All right, let's zoom back out. Let's go get ourselves one more fertilizer before we call it a night. Oh, there we go, right there. Some poop. We got all of our, uh, our interesting rabbit traps going crazy. All righty, poop, poop, poop. And fertilize. Sweet. There we have it. We have 20 fertilized grass tufts. We're in good shape. Oh, man. All right. What do we got left? We got 20% on our shovel. Not too many twigs. And, uh, oh, we got our drying rack. We should harvest that. All right. Let's grab this trap. Let's put that back down. Set trap. Harvest drying rack. Let's murder this bunny. Hang it up to dry. And we'll just uh, throw that one in our backpack because we can. All right, what do we got? Our axe is in decent shape. Farms. What do we got for farms? We can't build. Oh. An advanced, advanced farm plot needs an alchemy engine. And okay, how do we build an alchemy engine? Alchemy engine needs six gold. Six gold might be hard to come by right now because we have no gold. Best place to get gold is the pig king. But we don't have anything to give to the Pig King right now. So we got to uproot some graveyards. Now, I did see two graves further south somewhere. Whoopsie. Where did I see them? Um, it was around here somewhere. One wormhole. Aha. No, that's not a grave. Oh, wait. Was it up here? Okay, we got one grave up there, one gravestone. And it's on route to the Pig King. Well, you know what? We'll make that a priority for next episode as we'll head up north and we'll dig up that grave and hopefully there'll be some good loot in there. A start, anyways. We'll do that. Let's put on some wood on the fire. There we go. Well, alright guys, we're going to call it there at the end of day 7. Next episode, we're going to check out the Pig King, get some more gold and build our alchemy engine and then we're going to build a crap ton of farms. Oh, we should eat this right now. Or this. Let's eat these. They're in better shape. Thanks for watching, guys. Please let me know what you think, all right? Let me know in the comments where you want me to go, what you want me to explore, how you want us to proceed. I really do read all the comments, and I really do appreciate them, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. They really help, and I do appreciate them. Thanks again. Bye.